Hey what's up guys, I'm back with a brand new speed test. It's time to do a check out the performance of the Oppo F21 Pro 5G against the Xiaomi 11T. And the Xiaomi 11T has a Dimensity 1200 Ultra SoC with 8GB of RAM while the Oppo F21 Pro 5G has a Snapdragon 695 SoC with 8GB of RAM. Both phones has a triple cameras on the back. We have 108 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide. Also we have 5 megapixel which is a tele macro lens. While on the Oppo, we have 64 megapixel main camera, then we have a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel which is depth sensor. And the back of the Xiaomi is made up of glass, while the Oppo has a plastic back. And the frame of the Xiaomi is made up of aluminium, while the Oppo has a plastic frame. And the Oppo F21 Pro is give you a completely flat frame, which gives a more premium feel over the Xiaomi 11T. Also on the bottom we have headphone jack on the Oppo which we don't see on the Xiaomi at all. Also we have single speaker on the Oppo versus a dual speakers on the Xiaomi 11T. So I am really really excited to see that how is the Oppo F21 Pro 5G is gonna stack up against the Xiaomi 11T with their Dimensity 1200 Ultra SoC. So without any wasting time let's get right into it. Now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go. Both phones is running on Android 12. We have ColorOS version 12 versus MIUI 13. Xiaomi 11T is faster when it comes to booting up. And the Oppo now it is also done. So we have a 2 or 3 second difference between these devices when it comes to booting up. On the Oppo we have 6.4 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 60Hz refresh rate. Yes, with a 60Hz refresh rate. While on the Xiaomi, we have 6.67 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display which can produce up to 1 billion colors with 120Hz refresh rate. Both phones also has a punch hole which is on the center on the Xiaomi as compared to on the left hand side on the Oppo F21 Pro 5G. And the bottom chin it is much smaller on the Xiaomi 11T as you can see. So now let's see apps opening speed. Everything is closed up in the background, no application is running in the background. Opening up phone dialer, tiny bit faster on the 11T. So next on the list is the settings. Again, same result, faster on the 11T. Now let's go to the display. We have 120Hz refresh rate versus a 60Hz which is a really disappointing in this price range especially. Amazon shopping on both phones with same Wi-Fi network, 11T is super super faster. As you can see, so now let's see the scrolling and in in the scrolling wise huge difference because difference between the 60 hertz and the 120 hertz it is really big. So much smoother on the 11T. Now let's open this same result faster on the 11T. So now check out some games application. Now let's start off with the Candy Crush Sega Snapdragon 695. Dimensity 1200 Ultra faster on the 11T. So let me show the speakers on both phones. First on the 11T with max volume. And here is the Oppo F21 Pro 5G. And the single speaker it is also good on the Oppo but dual speakers on the 11T it is on another level. No comparison in that area. Very disappointing to see we have single speaker on this Oppo F21 Pro 5G. Instagram faster on the Oppo. Let's pin out. Faster on the 11T. Opening up Snapchat. Very similar. Let's see Spotify. Spotify is faster, very similar. Let's see Substuffer. And 11T is showing its performance and you can see. So this time we have 4 or 5 second difference. And the Dimensity 1200 Ultra, it is a very powerful SoC in this spice range. Opening up the Temper N2.
faster on the 11T, which is expected. Eleventy is done. The Oppo. Now it is also done. So we have four or five second difference there. Now let's check out PUBG Mobile. And PUBG Mobile is faster. Obviously on the eleventy, huge difference, and you can see. Now the Oppo it is also done. So. We have 4 or 5 second difference. Also, we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate versus a smooth graphics with 90 FPS, which you don't see in this price range. Now, let's open up the tutor that is faster on the Oppo this time. Now, let's open Zedge, my favorite wallpaper application that is very close between these two devices. Let's see the scrolling, and that is much smoother on the 11T. So last I'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application Let's see who is faster Camera is faster on the Oppo and the camera performance it is miles better on the Xiaomi 11T Now let's look at the front facing camera and the front camera also miles better on the Xiaomi 11T And you can see it has a much better colors and exposure Now let's see internet browsing speed wikipedia.org very close let's see the scrolling and again more smoother on the 11t same thing with zooming in out but no lack or server on the oppo so that's really good thing open this english that one is very similar scrolling is smoother on the 11t now let's open this apple.com that one is faster on the Oppo. 11T is taking a little more time. Scrolling again, much smoother on the Xiaomi 11T. So now let's check out RAM management on both phones. Both phones has a 8 GP of RAM. Let's see who is performed good in the RAM management. Phone dialer, refresh on the 11T. Amazon shopping, that is refresh. Let's see Candy Crush Saga, refresh, Instagram, not refresh, pin out, that one refresh, Snapchat, Spotify, refresh, Subway Surfer. So RAM management, it is really really bad on the 11T, I did not expect that. Let's see Temper N2, refresh, Oppo is performing really really good in the RAM management. PUBG also got refresh on the 11T. Opening up the tutor, Zedge, and last we back to the internet browser where we left, and you can see. And guys, over I have to say regarding the app's opening speed, as you can see that, and the Xiaomi 11T is performing more faster in system-based application as well as in the game app loading time because of the Dimensity 1200 Ultra SoC. Oppo, it is also right behind there only in the system based application but in the games we have a 4 or 5 second difference in terms of the RAM image wise in that area Oppo is performing really really good in the RAM management while the Xiaomi is performing very bad in the RAM management a lot of refresh on the Xiaomi also on the Xiaomi we have 5000 mAh battery size with a 67 watt fast charging while on the Oppo we have 4500 mAh battery size with a 33 watt fast charging as well so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the oppo f21 pro 5g versus the xiaomi 11t let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and i will see you in my next video peace out